Ever wonder what's inside a 9-volt battery? Turns out it's a bunch of little batteries. And you can take those little batteries and turn it into a shield and power your Arduino. Well, I made a circuit board that does just that. And I made a 3D print to make it easier to assemble. And I'm giving it all away. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also brought to you by PCBWay.com, a great place to get low-cost circuit boards and also low-cost assembly services, all from one place, PCBWay.com. A popular way to power your Arduino is just with a cable to a 9-volt battery, but there's no on-off switch, and if you want more than one battery in parallel for more power, it's more difficult to do. Have you ever wondered what's inside a 9-volt battery? It's really just a bunch of individual batteries connected in series, just like this. They'll be in different shapes, but a lot of times they're just like this, these cylindrical batteries that are 1.5 volts connected in series to give you 9 volts. Those individual batteries are the same size as a quad A battery, which you might find in a laser pointer or something small like that. And you can buy these in bulk, like on Amazon, for 35 cents each if you buy a 48 piece pack. You can also get that size battery in a rechargeable, so you can actually take six of these put them in series, and create your own 9-volt battery. And you can actually power the Arduino through the VIN pin and ground on its side header. There are shields that use a lithium battery, but I wanted to make one out of those Quad A batteries. Here's the design that I came up with, including an on-off switch. Individual clips hold the batteries in place, but there's a whole bunch of them. So I wanted a jig to hold those in place so I could get them soldered together properly. So I went to Tinkercad and I made this 3D print that basically represents the battery so I can put the clips over the top of them. I brought in Acura version 5.0 and I'm going to use my hyper fast profile to print it. It doesn't have to be pretty, just functional. At 25% infill, this thing looks fine. It should be functional enough and only 49 minutes to print. I put it on my Ender 2 Pro and I just used some basic PLA, red PLA. It came out good. Actual time was only 45 minutes. So now I could put the clips on and they line up perfectly. They snap in place and this makes it so much easier to put the circuit board on. They're all lined up so the batteries will be straight and then I just soldered those clips in place and then I just pulled it away from the 3D print and look, no melting on the 3D print so PLA was fine. Next I soldered up the headers that go into the Arduino and I have an on off switch so I had to solder that in place and here's the finished battery shield. All I need to do is install the Quad A batteries. They alternate back and forth to give me the 9 volts. And now I can plug it into our Arduino and see if it works. So I just plug it into the headers and flip the switch on and off. You can see power's going on and off. Many years ago, I wrote a book on Arduino and I used a custom shield for all the projects. So I decided to try that on top of the battery shield. Well, it plugs right in, and this thing's been programmed to flash an LED. So here it is working, and I can control it with the on-off switch. If you want more power so your projects last longer, you can actually stack two battery shields or more on top of each other, and then individually switch when you want them on. Like right now, it's running off one. Now they're two in parallel. So it's still 9 volts, but more current, so it'll last a lot longer. I originally made this battery shield for a Kickstarter project back in 2013, but now I'm ready to just give the design files away so anybody can build a battery shield. If you're interested in making your own battery shield, I'll put a link in the description below to the 3D print along with a file that has a parts list and another link to where you can download the Gerber files and make your own circuit boards. And speaking of circuit boards, PCBWay.com is a great place to get circuit boards. You can get 10 pieces for $5 plus shipping. Just click on that box on their main page and it'll take you right to their order form where you can set the parameters you want for your board or go with the defaults. And it'll give you pricing plus shipping so you know exactly what you'll pay. So now if you want your own circuit boards, you can just upload the Gerbers, go through their order process, and you'll get low cost, high quality circuit boards delivered right to your door from PCBWay.com. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.